you're driving from lots of miles. Yeah, <laughs> lots of miles from Plymouth, Massachusetts. We pulled off at the KOA. Uh, real easy access to get to. Uh, no problem once we got off of the little connector interstate I-195. You go down a couple of blocks, take a left, huge KOA sign, pull Beautiful. in the parking lot, get checked in. And, yeah, it's a nice little and, place. Uh, they serve breakfast every morning, uh, not for free, but it's only $5, and it's a huge breakfast. I think they had uh, every kind of pancake you can think of, and they put lots of fruit and stuff in the mix and make blueberry, stra strawberry, peach, whatever you want. Yeah, so that man. was delicious. I think they put a whole cup of blueberries in it. Yeah, a bunch. So the uh, agenda for this stop is just a one night stay as we're passing through on our way to, to Bangerst. And I wanted to see a place that I found on YouTube. It's called the Wayway Store. Oh. Now the campground didn't know anything about this place even though it's five minutes from the campground. So we went to the Wayway Store and it's uh, the, the history of the building is being preserved by a retired teacher and his wife is also a retired teacher and they bought the building with intents of tearing it down and doing something with it and the community poured out and screamed and panicked and said no you can't tear down the wayway store uh, so the historical society talked him into turning it into a, uh, a penny candy store and kind of a memory store and you go in and there's penny candy all over the place there's whoopie pies there's the old uh, knee-high drinks that you maybe remember as a kid, and Orange also, Crush, Grape Crush. Also an ice cream bar where you can put a little ice cream parlor over yeah. there and get ice cream. I love the theme of this store. Brings back a lot of memory to old people like me. Oh, okay. So where did the uh, bluegrass music come from? I'm hearing Bill Monroe. That's Mr. Scondros over there. He brings in discs from home and he puts them on the, on the disc player up there. So I, I play banjo. I've played banjo for 40 plus years. And oh wow. Was uh, in a gospel group. We played gospel music mostly. So after we left the Wayway store, we decided we'd drive down to Kenny Bunkport. There's a Kenny Bunk and a Kenny Bunkport, but we ended up eating in Kenny Bunkport. It's right on the ocean. Um, it was beautiful, but as soon as we got there, the gray skies and the fog started moving in. But we went ahead and ate. There was a neat little place there called Mabel's. Uh, it's hard to find parking, but we finally got parking and got inside. We actually sneaked in a yeah. huge hotel parking, parking lot. lot. We parked way out of the way yeah. so we wouldn't be anybody's way. But uh, We had, didn't have a clue where to there park. Was no parking. We rode around and rode around and rode around and couldn't find any parking. So as soon as we got through eating, we headed out and, and went on down to Ogunquit, which is another neat little place. We went out and saw the beach there. Of course, it was, wasn't as foggy there. But uh, the beach was, uh, was actually, the waves were not very happy. They were pounding the rocks, and so we just stood at the top of the little gangplank thing and had our picture took and uh, looked at the beach for a while. And there was 
bunches of beautiful, colorful flowers. Looked almost like roses that we really enjoyed to see. what I was going to say. I, I'm a little concerned about trying to find the beach and then trying to find out where it gets worse. Must be low tide. The boat's launch ramp down there. The pigeon waiting on something to eat. Holly, want a cracker? Yeah, you can hear the ocean, but you sure can't see it, can you? So after that, we decided to go on back to the KOA because it was getting so foggy we didn't want to get caught out and not be able to find our way back since that's the first time we'd ever been there. Yeah. There was the bathhouse. This is a extremely nice campsite. Everything is clean and neat. Well organized. We had a wonderful sight for last night. It's quiet. We have a nice pool and playground for the kids. Pancakes with blueberries, strawberries, bananas, mm. pecan, and, <coughs> pecans, and bacon. And bacon. And they had two little chipmunks that came up begging for food, but we didn't feed them pancakes. They needed nuts and stuff. There's the store. You can see the swimming pool. There's the little lady that cooked our breakfast for us. There's one 
ate our breakfast on those picnic tables. Uh oh. There's the playground. Bye, KOA. Saco, Maine. Hope to see you again one day.